Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're having an awesome day. Today we're gonna have some fun and I'm gonna dye my hair. Yes, this this ploppy, moppy mess we're gonna dye today and we're gonna dye it purple. All right, so the brand I'm gonna be using today is Arctic Fox and this is the shade Purple Rain. Yes, I love purple and I love having purple hair. So we're gonna see how this works out. I've never used this brand before, but they are cruelty-free and vegan and it is a semi-permanent hair color. So it does say that you can leave this on for half an hour or more and it doesn't damage your hair. So I do recommend before you use this or any hair dye, really do a strand test. And I did do a strand test and it turned out so pretty. I really like how the color turned out. Now this is my natural hair color. I used, I haven't dyed my hair in a long time and everything's kind of like washed and faded out. So this is my natural hair color. I am kind of like a medium brunette shade. So this is it going to be, of course, as vibrant as, you know, lightening your hair. Obviously, if you want the best results from using a bright color, you have to bleach your hair. I'm not gonna do that because I don't want to damage my hair. All right, let's go into my bathroom. Probably just gonna put some music on and get to dye in this mop. Oh my gosh, I'm so nervous, but I'm so excited. We're gonna give it a go. All right, I'm gonna quit talking. Let's go, let's go do this. All right, so the directions on the hair dye bottle say to wa wash your hair, just shampoo, skip the conditioner, blow dry it, and don't add any other products because this hair dye acts as a conditioner. So this is what my hair looks like, a hot, frizzy mess after doing all of that. So here's everything that you are going to need. Mixing bowl, brushes, gloves, hair clips, your hair dye, some coconut oils to prevent staining. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just comb and brush through my hair really well. And then I'm going to section it into four large sections. Now my hair is very thin, fine, so four sections works perfectly for me. Um, I will try to link below these hair clips because they really helped hold each section in place. I ordered these from Amazon and they are amazing. So depending on the thickness of your hair, you may need to do more sections. Um, I'm using coconut oil because it does say to use coconut oil around your hairline, ears, the back of your neck. So that's what I'm doing, just slathering up my whole face in coconut oil. And it actually did help prevent any major staining. So I'm just gonna take the hair dye, squeeze it into the mixing bowl. And as you can tell, the consistency is very thick and creamy. So I'm just working at the back sections first. I always like to start from the back and work my way towards the hairline, the front. And I'm just making sure to get the root very well on both sides, both sections. And then just really pulling the color through your hair. You really want to saturate it very, very well. And that's pretty much it. That's all I did. Just going through, making sure to get the roots, get every little tiny piece of hair and just saturate it in the color. Uh, you definitely want to put on a lot of color and just load it up just load it up girlfriend the more the merrier so that every single piece of hair gets covered in your hair dye so yeah that's all i did pretty simple all right guys so we are back in better lighting i'm so sorry my bathroom i just don't have the best lighting you know apartment living <laughs> so i went ahead and put a shower cap on if you want a little sneak peek it is very purple very, very purple. Um, shower cap is great because it keeps the heat on your head and helps the processing. So my thoughts so far with application, how messy did it stain my skin? So first of all, I used pretty much the entire bottle and this is eight fluid ounces. So if you have longer hair than I do, like past your shoulders, I would get two bottles just to be safe. I have a little tiny bit, like I can feel it, a little tiny bit at the bottom, but I pretty much use the whole tube, <laughs> the whole bottle. Love the scent. It has a very mild grape scent, not very overwhelming at all. The second thing I really like about this formula is that it's super, super thick. I hope you got to see a little clip of that. <laughs> I probably forgot to show you how thick it was, but really thick, creamy. It doesn't drip. It's not super runny. So I really like the consistency of this hair dye. I didn't make too much of a mess. I did have some on my neck, but I was able to remove it. I do have a little, a 
a tiny bit back there. But overall, I feel like, you know, I have a little, a couple of spots on my arms because it, it's hard to be completely unmessy with something like this. But I do have quite a bit on this arm because this was my messy hand. So how I like to dye my hair, I have one clean hand with gloves on, of course, and the one that is dirty well not dirty but that's the one that i really pull the color through so it is <laughs> currently 3 38 p.m um it, it is getting kind of late here i got a late start doing this and i think i'm gonna let it sit for about an hour and i'm not gonna show you me rinsing it out because i'm gonna like do it upside down in my bathtub and let's hope it doesn't stain too badly in my bathtub i did buy some clorox bleach spray you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. So I'm going to go off of here, get some things done, eat, rinse this out, and blow dry it, style it. I might even put a little makeup on because I'm feeling so naked right now. So I'm super excited and I will see you guys a bit later. Bye. Hey guys, I am finally back. It is now officially 6.39 p.m. All right, let's just let's just look at the color up close because oh my god, you guys, this turned out <sighs> This is exactly the color I wanted. I wanted a really deep like plummy dark dark vampy purple and oh my god, arctic fox. Holy cannoli. So, I hope on camera it's showing how beautiful and purple it is. It might be looking kind of like black, but I swear to you, this color is so pretty, <laughs> oh my god. It's exactly what I've been wanting for such a long time. My hair feels amazing, it feels super soft. So I let it sit in my hair for about a little over an hour, I would say around 5, 15 p.m. I rinsed it out. So I flipped my head over and rinsed it with cool water. And I did have to like rinse it quite a while, which is pretty typical with these type of dyes. You, you really wanna rinse your hair really well. So I rinsed it really well. And then I stopped, checked it, and I was like, mm. I rinsed it again. And the water did eventually run pretty clear. It's not gonna run completely clear with no dye at all because this is semi-permanent, you know, when, uh, water touches it, it's going to bleed. That's just how, that's just how the story goes <laughs> with semi-permanent color, especially bright colors. So rinsing it out was actually really easy. I did put my gloves back on, which that is so important. Please wear gloves, you guys, because <laughs> it will stain your hands really badly. So, and then blow dried it, went over it with a straightener just so I look presentable <laughs> at the end of this video because my hair was so crazy today and it looks amazing. I'm really impressed. So staining, okay. Um, I will say it did stain my bathtub a little bit, just a little bit. So all I did was spray a little bit of Clorox spray cleaning bleach, it has bleach in it. Sprayed it on, boom, it's gone. So definitely be very mindful of trying not to make a big mess. You're definitely gonna need some kind of cleaning spray afterwards because it did leave a tiny bit of stain. Not as bad as I thought it was gonna be. I thought it was gonna be really bad, but it was, wasn't that bad at all. And um, like little areas around my sink, I did put towels down so I didn't really have to worry about that. But if I did get a little bit of color, a little bit of rubbing alcohol works fine. Um, I will say though, it does stain your scalp. Let me just show you an up close of my scalp. When I was blow drying my hair and touching my roots to like dry my roots, I usually go like this and kind of like shake my hair to use the blow dryer, I did get some staining on my fingertips, especially this hand. Um, this hand isn't too bad, but that's pretty much the extent of the staining my thumb. My thumb is pretty purple. So do be warned that, you know, hair color like this will stain and transfer. So I hope I covered everything. I don't think there's anything else to to mention I mentioned the staining you know just be careful especially after that first application if you go and like touch your scalp with your fingers it's going to stain your fingers <laughs> so definitely just be careful until you can shampoo your hair again and I'm sure that that will wash away I don't think it's gonna stain permanently yeah, that's it you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video, trying out some purple hair dye, just having some fun. I love my hair. 
I haven't I haven't felt that way in a long time. I have a love-hate relationship with my hair and now I really really like my hair, okay? So I hope you guys had fun with me today, sort of just having fun with hair. I really want to do more hair tutorials, more videos like this. If you guys like this type of content, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new to my channel. I put videos out on every Tuesday and Friday every week. And again, you can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, Facebook, all that good stuff. My links are always down below. I will see you guys in the next video. Have a really great day and I'll see you very soon. Bye guys. Take care.